After FrameMaker 12 has been installed, you'll be prompted to set up the way that icons display. This is what the software might look like if you've selected grayscale icons that are of regular size. You can change this by choosing Edit Preferences. In the Preferences dialog under Global, you can go to Interface. Take a look at the toolbar in the background. You can also see down in the Conditional Tags area a couple of buttons. These are all currently in grayscale because that's how the icons are configured. I'm going to change from grayscale to colored icons. To finalize and apply the change, I'll need to restart FrameMaker. You can see that the toolbar now has colored icons, as does the conditional tags pod. I can also make these icons much larger. I'll choose the large size icons, and then I'm going to restart FrameMaker. Keep a good eye near the top of the screen at the toolbar icon size as it is right now. You can see the icons are still color, but on the toolbar they're also much larger than they were previously. The icons have also been reconfigured to be much more crisp on higher resolution monitors. Pod icons have also been made consistent. This means that when you get to know what they do in one pod, you know what they do in all pods. Pod standardization makes it easy to know exactly what the icons mean, and configuring the appearance of your icons means that the interface looks the way you want it to appear.